get the answer. This is a gritty win. I think we uh, understand on the road. Again, when shots aren't really falling like we want them to, we got to take care of the little things. The first quarter, we foul way too much. Um, turn the ball over, you know, unfor uh, unforced errors like that. And then you give a team life, especially since it's one, three in a row at home. So we found a way to win, even though shots didn't really fall all night. And that's a great sign of like our identity because when they do fall, presence like that and we take care of the details and we're, we're pretty good. Oh yeah, did I get the record? <laughs> <laughs> I think before I get what he's saying just in terms of put up and you know not really knowing what game is awesome like the home crowd the Portland game was amazing you know it didn't happen Philly was awesome every three the crowd was crazy here it was like that so I'm enjoying the moment <clears throat> um now you're you're not on the doorstep it's pretty uh surreal but it's also trying to just let it let it happen like it's one thing I learned over these last three games is Keep playing basketball, keep taking shots you think you'll, 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 you'll make and um, enjoy the experience of it because it's a long time coming. Can you describe what the what's going through your mind and sort of the emotions of that last minute and a half when you guys are down five, you make that three, the crowd was obviously very into it, and the next time down they're even more into it, standing up, and you go to the hoop, and then the one you miss where the lead puts it back, just sort of – how, how do you uh, describe what happened? We gave ourselves a chance to win a game that first four minutes of the third quarter where we moved the ball, we got stops, we got a couple easy baskets, and we closed, you know, that, that lead. And then it was kind of just try to hold the four down as much as possible. In that last minute and a half, it was nice to see, you know, the three go down, get to the basket, and we were in a pretty um, – we didn't draw it up. We were in a pretty, pretty cool play where they trapped the throw it to Loon. He hit Draymond. He hit it with a handback. Look, shot looked good. Uh, I fell to the floor. The next thing I know, I see Loon just come out of it, you know, out of the scrum with the ball, putting it back up. And it was a, uh, a good momentum swing. To, to close it out like that, and then we get a stop on the other end. Like, you have to win games all different type of ways. And, um, we don't have a chance to do that unless we come out of halftime with a different mentality. What, what does that play say about Loon and Looney and your team? I mean, here's a guy who's really unsung. I mean, you know, people think about the Warriors. There's a lot of people that think about before him. But that play sort of conveys what he provides, right? Like you said, rebounding and – I mean, he had, he had an amazing game and impacted winning tonight. Defense, rebounding, um, and in that right place at the right time, down the uh, block to get us a last basket was huge. So, uh, <laughs> last two games we played really good defense on two really solid big men. Yeah. I mean. The bonus had his numbers, but he made him work for it all. So he's, uh, he's holding it down. Have you heard any friendly banter from opponents about, you know, we're not going to let you break the record against us or any, anything like that? Friendly. Uh, yeah, I mean, you hear a little bit of everything. I mean, I saw Joel, what he said. It was, it was post game. So say whatever you want to say, but. Um, I know teams are coming out trying to make sure it doesn't happen on, on, on them, especially if it's, you know, making 10 or 16 or, or 7, whatever it is. But, again, I'm just enjoying doing the moment. Get this in terms of the chase to get over the mountaintop. And after that, it'll just be about how far can you push. Yeah, this will be like tomorrow, right? Tomorrow. 
He's on the call? Yeah. You playing this? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Um, I have no idea. I don't really want to even guess. I kind of just want to be in the moment, to be honest. So, had some, some fun nights in that building and hard not to. It's the garden and the whole legacy of that building, how iconic it is, and how many cool things have happened in that building. So, to enjoy it. Record talk or in December now, kind of the dog days. What's the turnover tonight? Was the fatigue at all? Or what's going on? Um, I missed a dribble, went off my foot, uh, threw a lazy pass across the court when I turned down the shot. Uh, I was a terrible quarterback at the end of the second quarter. I threw it like I was. Trying to avoid a sack and just throw it out of bounds. And then the second half, it was kind of just they made one of them, they made a really good play. I thought I had an open guy on the wing. Somebody rotated. The play didn't even make sense how he rotated, but he, he knew where I was throwing it and uh, got a steal. I dribbled one off of my, uh, off my fingertips on a, on a set play. It's just weird stuff that, um, that happens. I'm not really worried about it. Jeff, how would you describe literally being the winner? Just kind of feeling the crowd kind of breathing because it's something people. Yeah, this is dope. Like it's uh, I appreciate the support. I know how blessed I am to play at this level and do something pretty historic and really feeling a part of the journey and looking forward to nice things. A part of that chase. Like I said, it's, it's a different vibe when you're on the road and you get that reaction. Even if you miss, like I had probably three of them that went in and out, and it was a uh, pretty loud kind of uh, roar. So it's a special time, obviously. You know, anytime you do something special, you want to enjoy the, uh, the atmosphere and the support and all that. And I, I appreciate it. Just haven't been around enough to know what you know playoff type atmospheres are, finals type atmospheres. You just play the game and you can you can enjoy it but also not search for it at the same time. That's that's the, the subtle difference there. And I'm pretty comfortable in those type of vibes. MSG at top of your, you know, closing ranking for real. Especially because we only get to go there once a year. So you really know. No matter how well they're playing, what the situation is, no matter what time of year, it's always just an electric atmosphere. Great. Thank you. Appreciate that.